Hey, welcome to Business Talk, our weekly University of Rio Grande, the Ohio State University South Center's podcast show. We are here at the University of Rio Grande TV studio. Not only are we doing live internet radio through Blog Talk Radio, but we're also doing live on the Rio Grande Educational Access Channel 17. Our podcasts are archived and placed on YouTube for viewing and listening again. You know, our, our mission is simple, to promote the University of Rio Grande and its diverse educational programs, promote the Ohio State University South Centers and its many business technology programs, to promote small businesses and its small business organizations, and finally, to promote Southern Ohio, a great place to live, learn, and enjoy life to the fullest. Co-hosts are Jason Winters, Director of the Centers for Small Business Entrepreneurship, along with Mike Thompson, Instructional Design and Media Services Director, who are both with the University of Rio Grande. We also have Patrick Dangle, Business Development Specialist and Program Coordinator with the OSU Rio Collaboration Program, along with MBA and undergraduate students. Nate Walzer is one of the co-hosts who has a soccer meet today and unfortunately is not available. This week, we featured Dr. Tom Worley, director of the Ohio State University South Centers in Piketon. Tom? Well, thank you, Pat. It's my pleasure to be with you today. I want to talk about the OSU South Centers. And I'd like to start by talking about why we have an S on that uh, word in our title, centers. And we're actually a collection of centers located at Piketon, Ohio, right along the Appalachian Highway, just east of its intersection with US Route 23 South. And the centers are made up by the Piketon Research and Extension Center, the original center that was created 20 years ago out of the Ohio Agricultural Research and Development Center and OSU Extension. The other centers have been added over the years as our programs have expanded and increased in depth. We have the Enterprise Extension Center, we have an Ohio Small Business Development Center, and a Manufacturing and Technology Small Business Development Center. These are operated in conjunction with the Ohio Department of Development and the U.S. Department of Commerce. Our uh, Ohio Cooperative Development Center is funded by USDA Rural Development and they are our partner to develop businesses along the cooperative business model. The Endeavor Center for Business Incubation is a business incubator facility that we host 18 different business partners that are expanding their business and becoming established and then will graduate and we have had graduates from our Endeavor Center up to this date. Our Aquaculture Research and Development Program and Center at OSU encompasses the research work as well as extension work to develop the aquaculture industry or fish farming across the state of Ohio. More recently, we have an added an International Trade Assistance Center, also in conjunction with Ohio Department of Development and the U.S. Department of Commerce. The centers are all unified in the mission to serve Southern Ohio by assisting people with informed decision making through responsive research, education, entrepreneurial application, and collaborative partnerships. And being part of the land grant mission at Ohio State University, we try to reach out to people where they are and at the stage of business or development of their farm or enterprise. We do not have formal four credit academic course offerings at our center. We're focused on very applied problem oriented research and extension activities which focus on delivering seminars, workshops, hands on demonstrations, short courses, adult education in a variety of settings if you will, as well as publication of our research results and extension publications to reach the lay audience across our region and indeed across the state. In terms of a vision for South Centers, we're out to create an environment where research-based educational resources unite to inspire confident decision-making by fostering objectivity in research and ex extension programming, in other words, supplying an unbiased view 
of uh, the issues and problems and decisions that people have to make. Interacting with the public and responding respectively to their needs and opportunities. In other words, we like having input from clientele to direct our focus in research and what projects we take on in terms of education. Using a holistic approach to problem solving and program delivery to strengthen youth, individuals, families, communities, as well as businesses. We also like to facilitate technology advancement as well as demonstrate and, and develop leadership for our region. And in terms of the programmatic focuses that we operate under within those mission and vision, it comes down to basically four areas that are encompassed. Aquaculture, fish farming that I've already mentioned, specialty crops as alternative enterprises on Southern Ohio farms. This includes berry crops, as well as vegetable crops, as well as energy crops. Our soil and water resources program intends to do research and educational activity that uh, sustains the quality of the soil and water resources that we're so reliant upon in aquaculture and for agricultural purposes. And then our fourth program encompasses and overreaches all of these others with business and rural economic development, that businesses in aquaculture or horticulture in the soil and water or energy area all depend upon creating a viable business and our economic development group works across these areas as well as many other Main Street businesses that uh, include places as coffee shops, laundromats, filling stations, these sorts of convenience stores, types of businesses that people and entrepreneurs come up with that need assistance with their planning. The couple of these centers that I'll just mention in this piece are Ohio Cooperative Development uh, Center which provides new cooperatives and strengthens existing cooperative businesses in Ohio with outreach, technical assistance, education and training, partnerships, and information transfer. We have a seasoned program manager that has worked with us in this is Dr. Tom Snyder, as well as Christy Welch, who is gaining and beginning to transition to lead this program at OSU South Centers. And then if you visit us or if you come to visit, you're sure to see the Endeavor Center for Business Incubation and Training. It's a facility that has been in operation for seven years. It's about 27,000 square, square feet. Again, 18 partners occupying 29 different business spaces. We have training rooms available. We have a computer training lab. Again, back to technology and using this multiple networking opportunities. And one of the most important of these opportunities would be the opportunity to link with businesses that are at the same stage of development and learn from each other. And this is made possible by this collection of businesses operating at OSU South Centers. In short, we are a growing resource for helping develop the Southern Ohio region through our applied research and extension outreach.